In 1950, computing pioneer Alan Turing predicted that within a few decades, computers would convincingly mimic human intelligence. As artificial intelligence rapidly evolves, many people worry that machines will go from imitating people to making us obsolete. But some Stanford Graduate School of Business professors believe that too much attention has been paid to the idea that algorithms or robots will replace people. Using AI to take the place of human intelligence and labor is a powerful idea, but it's a very limiting one. We can use AI to complement people by enabling them to do new things. Both automation and augmentation can create benefits and both can be profitable. The idea that AI is aimed towards automation is a misconception. There's so much opportunity for this technology to augment humans than the very narrow notion of replacing humans. Here's an example of how augmentative AI is making people more productive. Doctors are using AI tools to sift through mountains of medical literature and process paperwork more efficiently. Imagine how that frees up medical professionals to do the work that inspired them to get involved in the field in the first place. This type of assistive technology, Lee says, is a win-win. AI is not taking away from the human element, but it's an enabler to make human jobs faster and more efficient. Building a future where AI boosts human potential will require business leaders to understand the risks of this new technology. That framing is not going to come from a typical master's degree holder in engineering. It's going to come from business people, from those with a background in social science, ethics, or policy. There's a gold rush right now about ways to apply these incredibly powerful machine learning techniques, Bryn Yolfson says. But there is a big gap in getting the economics and business side to catch up to each other. The question is, how can we do this so it's consistent with our values? Most progress over the past thousands of years has come from doing new things that we never did before, not from simply automating the things that we were already doing. That will require us to tap into a superpower that can't be programmed into a robot, imagination. <laughs>